Hey guys, Nikki from Tech or Duo. In this video, we're going to install Deluge in our Docker server. All right. So the first thing we want to do is head over to hub.docker.com. We're going to be using the Linux server container. So this is a team that essentially creates containers for us with popular applications. So we're going to go ahead and scroll down here. It'll give you a ton of information on Deluge and essentially give you snippets on how to get it running. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy the snippet. I have it already pasted in my notepad here. And we're going to just do some editing here to uh, ensure that we have this set up the way we want it to. So uh, Docker create, we got the name Deluge. You can change this as needed. We have the net host, the PUID, which is the user ID within Alpine Linux. So let me go ahead and open up Alpine Linux and let's add a user now. So I've already logged into my Alpine Linux. If you guys do not have a server set up yet, we do have a video on, uh, on setting up Alpine Linux with Docker. I'll link that below and it'll just guide you through setting up and installing it initially. All right. So the first thing we want to do is add our user. So I put a little snippet here towards the bottom. I'm going to edit this so that um, it creates a user that we want. So add group dash G 1000. We're gonna go ahead and change this to just Nick. I'm just gonna leave all lowercase. So everywhere that says username, I'm gonna change it to, to Nick. And this is gonna allow us to have um, pretty much um, super user access on the server here. So copy that. And I'm just gonna paste it right in here. And now hit enter. And there we go. So now what we want to do is get our PUID of this user. So we can do ID Nick, hit enter. And now our UID is a thousand and GID is a thousand, which we of course set it up here as to do so. So let's change this to 1000. Our UMask, we're just going to leave that alone. Our time zone, I'm going to edit this to be America forward slash new underscore York. All right, and so how I got this was just by going to the list of TZ database timetables. And I can link this below as well. You can just choose where you are and then uh, paste that in there. Let's head back to our notepad here. All right, so now we got our path to our deluge configuration. So uh, what I'm gonna choose is our home directory within Alpine Linux. So I'm just going to click, I'm going to do forward slash home docker deluge and then config. This will create the folder that we need and it will store the configuration file within that folder. I'm going to go ahead and do that down here as well. The same thing, home docker deluge and downloads for this one. So this is going to be our download directory. Everything that gets downloaded within Deluge is going to head to this folder. Okay. Restart on last stopped. And then this is just a last pull of the actual, the image itself. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is pull our image down. So we'll head back up to the top here. You can see Docker pull Linux server that forward forward slash Deluge. So when it hit copy, we'll head back into our server right click and enter. So here we go. Now it's downloading it for me. Okay, great. So it downloaded the newer image. Now we want to go ahead and take our snippet here, right click, copy. We'll paste it right in there. All right, so we got a we had an error with the U mask. Let's go ahead and just remove the U mask for now. That's not essential. I'm going to go ahead and do this again. Let me just do a clear. And let's paste this one more time. And now hit enter. And there we go. So you'll get this long string, which is our image that it created. Let's do a Docker start deluge. Hit enter. 
and there we go. All right guys, so now we're gonna log into Deluge. We're gonna find the IP address of our system here by typing in ifconfig. And it's going to be uh, 192.168.86.14. Um, that's in case you didn't know it. Of course, we're puttied into it, so we do know what our IP address is already. But just in case, so we're just gonna go ahead and log into it. So I'm just gonna type in, just gonna go to Microsoft Edge. We'll use this. 192.168.86.14. It's gonna be colon 8112. That is the default deluge port for this container. So the default password is deluge, all lowercase. It is now gonna ask you for a connection manager right here. We're gonna click that and we're gonna click connect. All right, so let's go ahead and do a little test here. Let's do, um, let's say Ubuntu, Ubuntu uh, torrent. Let's find alternative download here. BitTorrent, perfect. This is exactly what we're looking for. So we're gonna go to Ubuntu desktop and it's gonna ask us to save it. Save as, we're gonna go ahead and save it on our desktop. And then from here, let's go back to our web UI. We can click add, file, browse. Let's go to desktop and we'll click the Ubuntu right there and then click add. Ubuntu right there add and there we go so now it has come up it is starting and now it's downloading if you guys run into any errors for some reason saying um, the disk is not writable make sure you head into um, preferences and change the folder the download to forward slash downloads and make sure it is all lowercase I've run into that issue with my previous server so uh, this one uh, works for me so give that a shot. And now that that's downloading, let us check our server here. So let me just do a clear. We're gonna do a CD forward slash home docker deluge. And we can do an LS. We can see that there's a config and downloads. So we can do a CD downloads. And we can see if it's popping up here. And there it is, there's our ISO. Ubuntu 18.10 desktop ISO. Okay guys, so now we wanna set up Samba so that we can access our share. So let's do an APK, add Samba, enter. All right, so let's create a password for our user that we had created originally. So to do so, you wanna do an SMB password dash A dash your username. Okay, hit enter, it's gonna ask you for a new password. We're going to type in our password. Our next step here is to edit our SMB configuration. So what we want to do is open up this config and then add the snippet on top. So let's open this up first. We're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. All right, so everything's commented most of this is not in use. So we're gonna go ahead and copy that, paste it here. So as you can see, we label it as downloads. It is going to our home directory path where our downloads are. Our users are Nick and read only no. We want, uh, we want to be able to write. So that's why we set that as no. We're gonna do a control X, then Y, and then enter. So, now we just need to restart the service. So we're gonna do a service Samba restart, hit enter. And that's it. So let's go ahead into our folder here, into our Explorer. We're gonna to go to our IP address, hit enter. And I had already logged in when I was testing earlier, but it's gonna ask you for your password and you should be able to connect with that issue. So we can go to downloads, get to our ISO, and that's it. So if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Like and subscribe and uh, take care.